All right, Huntington Beach has created a downtown task force aimed at making the area safer. At the same time, the task force hopes to find new ways to boost the local economy. Reporter David Nazar has the story. Thousands of people flock to Huntington Beach each day to take advantage of the surf and sun and the downtown shops along Main Street. Now the city is partnering with merchants to make safety their business. Sometimes there are issues with uh, some loitering, uh, young people being rowdy. Um, so we've, we've installed some surveillance cameras to help reduce those activities. After 1030, downtown um, is mainly a place where you see a lot of folks who are much younger who are coming to party and they, uh, you know, can cause issues. The main complaints that I'm hearing from the downtown residents are disturbing you know, late at night, loud voices, fighting, partying as people are leaving the, the bars and going to their cars, um, and the impacts of the trash, the impacts of the large crowds that come for some of our very popular events. Earlier this summer, one of those popular events, the U.S. Open of Surfing, turned into a riot. The event was over and a crowd converged downtown along Pacific Coast Highway. Fights broke out, property was vandalized, and Main Street was a mess. Police dispersed the crowd, however, a lot of damage had already been done. Now, city leaders have formed a special downtown task force. They include city council members, downtown residents, restaurant and bar owners, and a representative from the Business Improvement District and the Chamber of Commerce. The main goal of the committee is to maintain a vibrant economy downtown, but to reduce the impacts of uh, living in a downtown area on the residents. How do you do that? That's, that's why we formed the committee. We want to hear from people in the community, the business owners, the bar owners, uh, the broader community about that exact question. Tina O oh has some questions and concerns. Tina's family owns Beach Island. The shop has been a fixture in the area since 1996. Tina says she hopes the city's new task force can find ways to improve business year round while keeping the area safe. It is very seasonal. It starts, um, I want to say, June, and then it ends around middle of August, and July is our best month. During the slow times, what do you do to kind of help with your business? Uh, we go to trade shows, and we meet up with the vendors and look at new designs for the next season. You're a business merchant, however, you also live here in Huntington Beach. As a resident, are you concerned about public safety? Um, somewhat, yes. I mean, we, we just have so many people coming in, and it brings so many um, problems, such as parking, um, the garbage. The, the, you know, there's a lot of um, people bringing, not cleaning up after themselves. The downtown task force could change all that. It will include staff from the Office of Economic Development, the police department, planning department, and the HB city attorney's office. Meetings will be held twice a month, and the public is encouraged to attend and voice their concerns. In Huntington Beach, David Nazar, Real Orange. And for the record, Mayor Broadman says that uh, they created the downtown task force just before the disturbance at the U.S. Open of Surfing.